we've got Dax up next. We've got Ndidi, uh, Zumarel, Porygon2, Alakazam, Togekiss, and Incineroar. All right, we've got Psy Spam and Trick Room. Uh, okay, so these Zumarels are a little bit awkward, but I mean, is it really that awkward with Rillaboom? Um, we just need to kind of check the, the Ndidi. Uh, I think Dragalge is pretty good here, to be honest. Uh, if we can get that set up, I mean, it can do a lot of work. We just had to be very careful around that 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 uh, size spam call. Other than that, Dragalge does an, an amazing job. Um, okay. So let us go. Incineroar. Dusclops. Boom. And Dragalge. I think that's pretty safe. <sighs> Nigel, there are only only should be there. I think opponent's team would be a lot scarier with an Alola Marak. Yeah, I mean, well, I'd prefer to play Alola Marak than Corviknight with this squad. To be honest, I feel like I got a better handle in my head of how I deal with it. Uh, Corv is literally like we're all in with Incineroar, and it's pretty hard with the mirror armor. This is why I'm saying like the like Thunder on Dragalge would be a decent call because then it not only gives us like electric terrain, gives us that immunity and trick room to something like a Moongus, but um, it also gives us a, like a super solid way to st start chucking out damage against it. Um, okay, I mean, do we just parting shot on Kiss and just set up a trick room? The only problem is that the Alakazam's probably going to um imprison us so we could just snarl and just nightshade zam okay i'm gonna see that they're gonna do that are they what's this kiss doing just got an air slash yeah just wants to chip down does clops that's fair okay i can't believe we could have got a trick room up should have just went for it but it's so hard, it's so hard like calling it and going for the trick room in front of these imprisoned users because like a lot of the time you could say, yeah, it's fine, we could, we could totally do that. But then other times it's not so great. Um, I think we go for it now though. Um, I feel like I want a parting shot as well, maybe out under the Zam. Yeah, let's do that, parting shot and trick room. Now they imprison. Now they're gonna do it. No, no, no. So I'm going out. Okay, that's fine. So, Zoomeril coming in. That's fine. As long as we can get our trick room up, we'll be alright. So, there's a parting shot. It's not gonna do too much to the Zoomeril uh, if it is a belly drum set, because I'll be able to just reset that. But. That's not bad. We've got Incineroar in the back, so that's kind of where we want it if the size bam of my opponent is, like if they've got the Ndidi anyway, um, in the back there, so. And there is a Trick Room, perfect. Okay, so we can just go Maxus into a zoo and get this Bulldoze going. So, here we go. I would imagine it's Belly Drum, Nigel, 100%. Sock, Pukumuku plus Rising Voltage, Pinchurchin. <laughs> I love the sound of that. That sounds awesome. Dinka Donk, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Dude, I think Incineroar says a lot of things when it part and shots out on Pokemon. Okay, we're going to see the Togi go out. We're going to see Ndidi come onto the field. That's that's fine. I'm wondering, the Alakazam mustn't have in prison. Just mustn't have it. Okay, well, we're going to see the Psychic Seed. So there's no Sash there. The Zoomeril has to protect here. It can't afford to Belly Drum this turn unless it maxes. But I, I think it will protect. And I think they're going to use the Indeedee the next turn to um, 
try and follow me on us. No, it's maxing. Okay. Huh. I mean, we're not picking up the knockout onto it, but... Hmm. Okay. Azumarill is still going to hit us pretty hard. Although we should be, we should, we should be hitting it pretty hard too. It's just annoying that uh, Ooze is kind of capped, isn't it? But this will put us to plus three, so. Man, the animation for Bulldoze hitting everything. Okay, here we go, let's see. Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, I didn't expect it to pick up the knockout. That makes this game a heck of a lot easier. Wow. How have I been liking Dragalgia so far? The adaptability boost is ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane. It's nuts. I love it. Yeah, it's a great Pokemon. Especially after that move there. After that turn. Right, so Zam coming in now. Uh, we've got the Indeedee on the field. We have to be careful uh, for the expanding force, for sure. We do have Boom in the back, so we can bring it in now, I think. Um... Let's just go on to Zam with a Wormwind. They're probably going to redirect. And let's switch into Boom. Get rid of this Psychic Terrain. Because at the very least, we're taking away the boost. Even if they target into us. And then we got Boom out on the field. That can do some work this next turn. If we need it to. Okay, so there's a Follow Me from the Indeedy. That's fine. I'm hoping the Zam's just randomly clicked into uh, Dusclops here with the Expanding Force, but it may not have done. No, it was smart. It's smarter than me. Super Smash Bros. Thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream of this all. Uh, for everyone that's jumped in recently as well, uh, there will be a rental team of this. Well, there will be a rental cord of this team at the end of the stream. So you guys can grab that um, if you would like to use it. Uh, so we'll just mics ooze the Togekiss and then go for a wood hammer into the Zam and that should be that should be GG. Nappy, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. It's going good, dude. Yeah. Okay, kiss gonna protect. Zam protect? Yeah, double protect. Okay. Okay, well, this puts us on plus four. I mean, wow. That's nuts, the damage this thing does. Speaking about Pinchuchin, though, I did have... Uh, I literally had a team put together. That was the original plan for tonight. And then I was like, oh, Aaron's been playing... Aaron put, like, a video out, like, yesterday. I was like, oh, everyone's probably, like... Uh, yeah, done with win done with the pinch Pinchuchin. So I was like, oh, I'll just I'll play... There's something else. It's fine. Uh, okay, but yeah, his because his team is very similar to what I was I was going to be running, but I did I did mention it to a few guys last week that I was uh, actually running weakness policy, right? You with uh, sucker punch, pin church in. Um, it's really quite good actually. It's quite surprising how good it is. Um, like it can get Venusaur. In electric terrain with expanding force uh, which is pretty if you're maxed and they're, if they're maxed as well which is pretty nice would love to get the rental card that team seems pretty solid thanks man yeah well yeah hopefully you have a great time with it and uh, yeah it's uh, it's been playing really nice so hopefully you enjoy it dude But we might, we might, uh, yeah, Pinchurchin, definitely a good, uh, such a good Pokemon. Um, the only issue was, when I was putting it together, I was like, where, I, I could have sworn I'd picked up um, the Ice and Magnet, and I couldn't find it for the life of me, because I don't really like psych uh, Electric Seed on it, because 
I feel like it's one of those Pokemon, especially at the minute, where you've got um, so many different Pokemon where you are switching out and getting like terrain control and things like that where you're going to be switching it out quite a lot especially if you want to keep terrain control so you're kind of wasting your item a little bit so i always felt like the magnet was probably the better item on it and because you're utilizing the sucker punch on the the weakness policy um on raichu you didn't really want to boost that with like an expert belt or anything so there we go good game to my opponent Okay, we got Darius up next playing Rillaboom and Dracovish. Mm, uh, the, the Steel, Duraludon. There we go. Kingdra, Politoed, and Whimsicott. So we've got kind of a rain call uh, in there. It's quite scary because if, if they can kind of control the field and then get the Dracovish in play when the rain's up, then it's going to be difficult to deal with, especially with that Wimmy Tailwind support there. But. If we can get a Trick Room up, which um, shouldn't be too difficult for us here, to be honest. I mean, the way that they're going to have to do that, I feel, is, is lead Rillaboom and um, Whimsicott to fake out, potentially fake out uh, Togekiss and uh, then get the Taunt onto Dusclops. Um, so... I think I'm going to do that because then even if we see like a fake tears, uh, max darkness from the Wimmy Duraludon, then it'll be all right. So I'm going to have to pick some Pokemon pretty quick though. Uh, let's go with Rillaboom. I kind of would like maybe to bring uh, Incineroar. It gives us a little bit of a, uh, the Intimidate's nice, but probably Rillaboom's a little bit better here. And well, more than likely unplayable now because Game Freak. Maybe, dude. Let's hope not, though. I mean, they're all pretty good, really. Um, the Moltres one is probably the one that's got the, the question mark over it right now because you're thinking like uh, Articuno with competitive, Zapdos with Defiant. They're both going to be legit good, aren't they? So we've got an Assault Vest, Duraludon, and was that a Sash on Whimsicott? Okay. Um, oh, we can't, we can't redirect though, can we? We cannot redirect because, because, um, well, we can redirect the Whimsicott for sure. That's what we need to do. We need to stop that fake tears, but they can still go max darkness. But at the same time, I don't mind if I lose Togekiss here because it does give us the, the free switch into uh, Dragalge, which is fine. And I think once drags on the field will be all right hopefully rather on his assault vest though so it's not great but we have to follow me here just for the torn or the fake tears potentially coming out from that whimmy or the light screen okay that's another option that makes things even more difficult Steel Spike. There's the defense boost coming off. Yeah, okay. Well, it does give us a free switch into Drug Algae. <sighs> that is rough, though. That is, that is really, really rough because now, I think with that light screen, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually break through the Duraludon. Hmm. Because they'll KO us like 100%. But I don't really feel like we've got too many other options right now. Like Incinero on the back would have been a great option. Now just to bring in, soak up a little bit of time between it maxing and it not being maxed. Okay, well. I mean, there's only one thing to do, and that is to max Wormwind Hope. You know, we can just break it with a plus two. I mean, the other option is we could we could max max guard and get a nightshade into Duraludon in the next turn. Hmm. Kind of wasting, things, but it might be worth doing. Might just be enough what we need. Okay, let's do that. Let's nightshade. Let's try that. Lee has no Duraludon matchup. 
No, it's another one of those Pokemon. It's like the other Corviknight that's grounded. Okay. We just need to whack Torkoal in this team. We'll be a lot better off. I think they have to chase the Dracology down here. They have to. Well, there's a nightshade. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Let me do that. I think we give ourselves the best chance possible to do this. So, um, let's try. Let's try. There's a fake tears. So, if we can't take this thing down, we are so, so gone. So gone. There's no coming back from this. We need to. Ah, there's no way we're taking it. It is a salt vest and light and light screen up as well. Come on. We are depth ability. We are plus two. Duraladon is pretty weak on the special defensive side anyway. So there is maybe a small chance. Maybe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not even a small chance. There we go. <laughs> it's a crit. Okay, okay. Take it back, take it back. And Will's like already said, Dragalgia is strong, this will kill. Okay, so we didn't even need the crit. And Johnny's backing that up, we don't need the crit. Okay, that makes me feel less bad. Um, I think the crit, we just spoiled that, didn't it, for us. But, this is fine now. Politoed in. Um, we don't need to worry about Politoed too much. I think we just double into Arno, we just max ooze, and we'll go for... Nightshade into the Politoed. And then we can just deal with that Politoed the next turn. Or whatever comes in for the Wimmy. Uh, okay, fake tears into the Sclops this time. That's alright. I was kind of worried about them doubling up into that uh, Dragalgy with another fake tears there. But they're not, so it's, it's fine. If they're rain cores what's in the back we're going to be fine i think because we've got we've got really booms so we should be okay there's the muddy water the sclops avoids okay that's ideal i do take the accuracy drop but not going to matter too much in our max form so Whatever comes in now, is it going to be Kingdra? It is. Okay. I think we can probably nuke this through the Protect. In all honesty. Ah, uh, we can't, because that's a last turn of Max. All right. Um, how many turns have we got left? I don't think we're into... Oh, this is the last turn. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Okay. Um, I think we go... Draco into Politoed. And we'll just go for a Nightshade into Kingdra and just get some damage onto it. Yeah, we're going to say double protect, I think. Okay, that's fine. Jaoki, thank you so much for the subs, my friend. Really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream tonight, mate. Okay, so that's a Trick Room over. Um, uh, there's a light screen gone. I mean, we can just protect. They're going to double up into uh, Dusclops. We are minus one as well. Do we just do we just try our Trick Room? And if we get it, we get it. If we don't, we get Rillaboom in. I don't really want to just switch Rillaboom in um, for free. I like to take damage. I want to kind of just switch it in for free. I don't want it to come in taking like a Draco. Okay. Well, they're going into that slot. We're going to get a Trick Room up. 100%. I don't understand why you wouldn't go after the Dusclops, though. Because I think the, the, the Draco plus the Muddy Water would get Dusclops in that situation. Um, we'll go Draco and we'll go... That's it. And there's the batch cancelled. So go get into my opponent. 
I really like the team. I think the team performed really well. Dragalji is actually really surprising uh, with the damage that it's doing. Okay, we got Kaim up next, uh, playing Lapras, Urshifu, Talonflame, Dracovish, Scissor, and Rillaboom. Really nice looking team, like really nice. Like, I like this a lot. You've got the Talonflame that can support that Lapras really really well. Uh, with the Tailwind, it gives protection against like stuff like Rillaboom, that's super threatening as well. Um, and then the scissor taking advantage of the rain that you're kind of wanting to set up with that Lapras um, before it goes down um, to then get your Dracovish and then scissor probably onto the field and start cleaning up. It has to be dark fighting Urshifu, I think. I think that's what I would, I would assume. Okay. A little geeky, thank you so much for the follow. So what are we going to do? Um, Rillaboom's obviously amazing here in this match. Uh, our Trick Room's pr pretty good, to be honest. Uh, but we probably want to try and stall out. Um, want to stall out the Lapras. Max and we could potentially what they it depend on what they leave. We could maybe max Rillaboom here. We could maybe, um, but I don't think it'll be that straightforward. Uh, okay, I think we go drag and Dusclops in the back because the Trick Room mod will be very strong. I think if we can kind of stall out the Max Lapras Aurora Veil and then go from there. Bevan, very nice, going from 2k, 2.5k to top, top 1,000, yeah. I'm pleased with top 900. Yeah, hopefully we can keep going, dude. It's nice to recover after Friday. I totally, like, it was bad. Friday was bad. I could not play Jude's Colossal team. I felt so bad for him. He'd give us his team, and it's obviously a good team. It's just you need to play it a little bit to actually get the hang of it. Colossal's pretty hard in this format anyway. And Sock Golem, thank you so much for the follow. El Cristo as well, thanks for joining us. And I uh, hope you all enjoy the stream of this tonight. Um, yeah, but we tanked our rating. I think we started like 600 and then we ended up, we were in the 4000s at one point. It got it got super bad. It got super bad. Uh, okay, Talonflame, Lapras. Do we make a call here maybe and say that the Talonflame is going to switch out and then actually go for parting shot Woodhammer into the Lapras? Uh, Nappy, thank you so much for the sub, mate. Uh, I think we could go G-Max. Like, I'm not really scared about the, the Talonflame now, in all honesty. The only thing that I would, like, the bad thing about not faking out the Talonflame is we are going to allow it to get the Tailwind up. Um, and we might be better off holding off maxing for at least a turn. Uh... No, we'll go for it. We're going to dive in, all in. All hands on deck. Let's do this. Let's stop this tailwind. Let's just max Rillaboom. Cards on the table. Let's get rid of this Lapras. If we can get rid of the Lapras, it makes things so much easier because, like, they just they have no way to support the rest of their team that relies so heavily on it. But we need to make sure that we're taking care of Incineroar as well because you've got to remember that that's scissors in the back, potentially in the back anyway. Does it protect from the Lapras? Do we break the, um, the Gale Wings? Yeah, we break it. I mean, it doesn't matter. It outspeeds everything on our side of the field. See how much damage this does through the Protect. Imagine it does a, a good old chunk. Not as much as what I thought it would do, to be honest. Yeah, there's not really too much we can do to get around... Um, Let Tailwind this next turn. I think, yeah, we'll just go for the... Actually, am I going... I think, yeah, I'm definitely going off Woodhammer. That's what we want to be doing. Um, and a parting shot in the Lapras, I think, with Incineroar. They're going to get their Tailwind up. They're going to G-Max Resonance into Rilla. We are a Sold Vest as well, so we're not we're not going down to it. Um, unless they decide to, like, Brave Bird. And, but then they risk the Lapras just going down without the, the tailwind the support they need it so i think the talent flint's kind of forced into going for that here muffry how are you doing mate i hope you're well and jibus hall thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight i hope you enjoy the stream okay there's the max from the lapras yeah, there's no way they're not going to tailwind here i don't think so Il chapo thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight i hope you enjoy the stream with us all as a tailwind, yeah. Okay. 
I still really rate. I know a lot of people don't rate Talonflame. I still think Talonflame's such a good Pokemon. It'll definitely have its time to shine, I think, in Series 5. And I mean, it's a good time to, to use it now, to be honest, because of all the grass types that are like just kind of overwhelming the format at the minute. Okay. Oh, oh, we're so close. So close to getting the Lapras. But we get the parting shot into it, which definitely helps. Uh, Akumaz Lim Jim, thank you so much for the follow. These usernames are getting harder and harder to pronounce. Uh, we'll get the Dust Clubs in, try and get this Trick Room up if we can. And Rumble Horde, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoy the stream with us. Okay, there's the first of the Life Fold, yeah, and Sharp Beak. Okay. Hmm. Shame we don't have, like, Max Guard. I wonder if it's worth... Is it worth us? Um... Switching into Incineroar and keeping Rillaboom. Like, I'd probably prefer to do that. I don't see you going for a Geyser into Rillaboom. Um, let's go the Incineroar and let's go... Yeah, I'd prefer to keep Rillaboom than just lose it. Because, like, a Resonance Brave Bird, they'll just nuke us now. So at least at least we can keep Rillaboom around for a little bit later. It might be what kind of clinches this match for us. <clears throat> I'm just hoping we don't see a geyser, but I think like the geyser is obvious into Dusclops now. It sets the rain up for the my opponent, the rest of the team. Oh, oh, we could see that. Totally discounting the taunt there. Okay, well there's a resonance. That's fine. Uh, oh, is it, is it in, is Fake Out going to be in, um, is Fake Out going to be enough to get the Lapras from there? I don't think it is. But they're going to, they've got the opportunity Geyser now, which is not ideal. Um, okay, let's bring in Dragalge and... I think we just Nightshade here, to be honest. Nightshade the Lapras, just to get rid of it. I'm not really too worried about the Talonflame, to be honest. It's it's like so crippled at the minute. Danny G222, thank you so much for the follow, as well as Rumble Horde. Thank you guys for joining us. Hope you enjoy the stream tonight. Yeah, the Talonflame I'm going to switch out. We're going to see Urshapu come in. All right. This is where I think we'll probably see the guys are coming in now. Yeah, that's setting the rain up. Which makes it difficult for us because we're going to have to try and get Dusclops off the field to get it back onto the field. And it's a little bit awkward with uh, Dracovishk in the back and us kind of not having access to our trick room without really kind of clonky like stumbling around to try and get a board position where we've got Dusclop back onto the field without taking like without losing too many other things um hmm. and especially if that's dog fighting as you that just puts on so much pressure I'd prefer Talonflame to come in here, honestly. Like, I'd like to see Talonflame here. I think Talonflame comes in, that would be great. Maybe Scissor, okay. Scissor's honestly probably better than Dracovish. Um, I think what we'll do is... Uh, let's Draco Meteor, the Urshifu. Let's get rid of it. And let's bring in Incineral. And let's hope it's not water fighting Urshifu. I'm hoping that it's not. Erins, thank you so much for the following for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with us all. If it's dogfight no Shifu, this makes it a lot easier at this point, I, I feel. But if it is not, if it is the water type, I think things are going to get very difficult for us with this rain up. And potentially this is a could just sword stance here as well. But we don't know, it could be banded or anything. Bullet punch. Okay. 
Where are you going? Are you going into... Going in... Yeah. Okay. Well... It could... It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be better. It could be way better, but... I don't think we're out of this just yet. So expert belt and the focus sash. Um, yeah, we get a trick room up, no problem. But it's just like, how can we deal with the air shifu? It's going to be very difficult to take this thing down. And leaving the scissor alone is pretty dangerous as well because it's so easy for it now just to set a sword stance. We need... Yeah, there's a switch out. Okay. Um, we need the rain to stop, really. So we can deal with it with Incineroar. And we're going to take a lot of damage from these scissors and stuff along the way. Okay, well, I mean, actually not too bad. Honestly. Um, so there's the Aurora Veil gone. Makes things a little bit easier. Okay, Nightshade, and hmm, it's a shame that we haven't got. Do we just flat? Oh, that's going to be terrible. I mean, we could snarl, but it's, this is the problem not having a physical attacking move on Incineroar. Hmm. I think we just nah we'll just flare blitz into the scissor. It might protect here. May not though. I feel like I need to keep Rillaboom to deal with um to deal with the Urshifu. Okay, well we get the scissor, which is which is huge. Okay. I don't know why I expected that not to pick the knockup out. Okay, I'm gonna see another taunt again. Right. I think this is actually all right. Ishifu probably comes in, takes down Dusclops, but we need to be able to take down the Talonflame. We haven't seen it protect, so I'm going to just double into that slot there. I have to remember that Ishifu is sashed as well. But as long as we take down the Talonflame here, I think we're all right. As long as we've got like Incineroar and Rillaboom in the Trick Room against Ishifu, I think we can probably do it. So, we'll see. Nappy, you're off. Thank you so much for sticking around, mate, and uh, catching the stream. Hopefully catch you Wednesday, dude. Take care and uh, have a good rest of your evening, mate. Okay, so there's a night shade. Come on, come on, Inti. Just be enough with this Flare Blitz. Just enough. Come on. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right now. Because even if Inti goes down here, we get really booming and we've still got like the Nightshade to kind of just break the Sash. And that's way better for us. Um, yeah. Like the close combat drops just make it so much easier because Grassy Glide and Nightshade's probably enough now with those drops. Zorinda stop. But we've got plenty of turns of Trick Room left. And we're not running a fast really boom. So I think we should be able to lock this one up. How many turns? Have we got one turn of Trick Room left? Oh, two turns. Yeah, I mean, that's like super fine, isn't it? Uh, we just Nightshade and we can just Woodhammer. We don't even need to um, <clears throat> fake out. Yeah. Blair Blitz in it. An 81 base attack. Talonflame. Talonflame's so strong. <laughs> Uh, I feel bad. Like, I wish Talonflame had, like, a better base attack. Like, it's so bad, isn't it? Um, okay. I mean, we're not even going to really need to risk going for the Grassy Glide. I think we just need to just get the Wood Hammer, just get the damage. It'll be enough. Sucker Punch. Uh, oh, no. no. Nowhere near enough. Really boom too strong. It'd have been bad if we got crit there, though. This should be enough. Yep. 
And there. Good game to my opponent. It was not the easiest of games by a long way. So. Will, can you imagine 2014 with a higher attack talent flame? <laughs> yeah, that would just be bad. That would be so bad. So bad. Kang Talon back then was bad enough. Yeah. They had to they had to do something with Talon Flame. They were like, yeah, otherwise it just breaks everything. No one's gonna play anything else. Okay. Back up to a decent standing now. So that's not bad. Ellie Day Josie, thank you so much for the follow. And Corby09 as well. Thank you for the follow. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the stream with us tonight. Mm, this is where we're going. And this is the team. So there we go. All right. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. The support has been incredible tonight. I've had an amazing time with you guys on stream. It's been a lot of fun. And I've had we've had some really nice battles. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And um, yeah. I um I hope to see you all Wednesday. So with that, I will and what's Will saying? Lee, DM me the Reddit link. I will do dude. I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot. <laughs> and Lam and thank you so much, Lammy, for the uh, actually typing the, the team out on uh, in chat. So yeah, friends, have a great rest of your evening or day, whatever time it is where you are. Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and uh, I'll hopefully see you all Wednesday. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.